Hey traders, it's Chris here. How would you like to know in one statistic whether you are going to make money or blow up your account? Yep, that's right. With one trading statistic, you can find out which of these two paths you're going down. But before I get into this, I would like to make a disclaimer, which is that no matter which path you're going down right now, 100% of you, if you want to make money trading, are going to need to develop this trading skill that we're gonna talk about today. However, because this topic is not necessarily sexy, from a trading standpoint, I'm pretty sure the majority of you are going to ignore it. What topics are sexy when it comes to trading? Trading strategies, how to find good entries, trading patterns, setups, those are all sexy topics. This, on the other hand, is not entirely sexy, but it is just as necessary. Regardless of how sexy this topic is, for those of you that are serious about making money trading, keep watching. What is this one statistic that's going to tell you whether you're going to make money or not? It's called the risk of ruin. Originally developed for casino games like blackjack, the risk of ruin can tell you in one statistic whether you're going to make money or whether you're going to blow up your account. That's the whole thing about it, risk of ruin. What's the risk that you're going to blow up your account or ruin your account? Now, most beginning traders make the mistake of looking at risk or money management as a function of two things. That is accuracy and risk to reward ratio. However, this type of thinking around risk management is two-dimensional, and it doesn't take into a third factor of variability into account, which is the percent of equity that you're risking per trade. The reason why this third statistic, percent equity that you're risking per trade, can be a game changer is that with one particular strategy, with the same accuracy and same risk reward ratio, changing the percent risk per trade up or down can determine whether you're going to make money trading or whether you're going to blow up your account. Now to demonstrate this, I'm going to show you three different scenarios with one particular strategy, same statistics, but changing the risk percent per trade and showing how that affects your performance. So let's say with this particular trading system that you are 45% accuracy. So out of every 100 trades, you can expect to win 45 and lose 45. Now, if you look at these three different risk of ruin calculations below, if you risk 1% per trade, you have a 99.5% chance of making money or a 0.5% chance of blowing up your account or ruining your account. But when you change that risk percentage per trade from 1% to 3%, that number goes up from 0.5% to blowing up your account to over 16%. This is a drastic change in your performance and chance of blowing up your account just by altering your risk by a couple percent. If you raise it to 5% risk per trade, now your chance of blowing your account goes to 33.5% chance. So you now have a one in three chance of blowing up your account, which is a really high number if you start to think about it. And for those of you that decide to risk 10% per trade with the same trading strategy, you have about a 55, 57% chance of blowing up by your account. Another way to translate this is flipping a coin. This is why you cannot look at risk management or money management two-dimensionally. You have to look in three dimensions. Again, most struggling traders look at risk management two-dimensionally. They're just looking at accuracy and risk versus reward, but the percent risk you trade, as we've shown below, makes a difference and can determine whether you're gonna blow up your account or not. And this is why the risk of ruin is so important. I'm willing to bet the majority of you that are losing money trading do not even know your risk of ruin statistic. So for those of you that are watching this video right now, and if you're not making money trading, can you tell me right off the bat what your risk of ruin statistic is? Do you even know what that is? Trading success is really built around three skills. That has to do with your trading and technical skills or your the skills that you use to make buy and sell decisions. That's the first skill. The second is your trading psychology or mindset skills number two, and the third is your risk management. So trading is really a kind of triangle of those three skills. If you're lacking one area, it's going to drag down your performance and can be the one difference between you making money and losing money. Now, there is one other crucial point regarding the risk of ruin or risk management, and that has to do with risking a fixed percent per trade. So the risk of ruin formula does not work with a fixed dollar amount per trade. It only, the calculation, you can only do the calculation with a fixed percent per trade. This is part of the reason why we suggest risking a fixed percent per trade, because one, you need it to do the risk of ruin calculation, but two, as we're gonna demonstrate in this scenario below, changing your risk percent per trade and not having a fixed percent each time can have drastic effects upon your performance. So the main reason why we recommend risking a fixed percent per trade is due to randomness. 
You see, you don't know whether you're going to win or lose your next trade. I don't know whether I'm going to win or lose my next trade. If you and I did, if we knew we were going to win the next trade, wouldn't we want to increase the risk on our account? And if we knew we were going to lose the next trade, wouldn't we just avoid taking that trade to begin with? We don't know. That's the bottom line is we do not know whether we're going to win or lose the next trade. So if you're constantly changing the risk percent or amount you're risking per trade, well, then this becomes problematic in terms of risk management and knowing where your performance is, whether you are going to blow up your account or not. Part of the reason why this is problematic is because it's if you don't know whether the next trade is going to be a win or a loss, if you end up risking too much on the next trade and you end up losing that one, and then you risk too little on the next trade and you end up winning that one, well, then guess what? On your wins, you're making less than you should. And on your losses, you're losing more than you should. That's problematic mathematically. That's going to affect your performance drastically. So to demonstrate what I'm talking about, let's look at two scenarios. So let's take scenario one and scenario two. Scenario one or trader A is someone who's risking a fixed percent per account. And scenario two is the trader who's varying the amount they're risking per trade. Now let's go back to the same statistics of being 45% accurate and that for every thousand dollars you're risking, you're gonna be making $1,300 profit. So 1.3 payoff ratio. So trader A on the next 10 trades, let's say they win four, they lose five, and they have one break even. Well, on those four wins, they're gonna make $1,300 per trade because they're risking 1,000, they're always risking the same, and if they win 1.3 times that, 1.3 times 1,000 is 1,300. So over four trades or over four wins, they've made a total of $5,200 profit. And over their five losses, they've lost $1,000 per trade, so that's a total of 5,000 in losses for a net profit of $200. Now in scenario two, where we have a variable risk percent per trade, over 10 trades, we have the same thing. We have four wins, we have five losses, and we have one break-even trade. Now, what happens if we start varying up the profit or the amount of risk per trade? Well, on the wins, let's kind of mix it up. So let's say they have two of their four wins is $1,400 trade. It's above their normal risk amount. That brings a total profit of $2,800. On one win, they have $1,000 profit for $1,000 on that. And then another one, they have $800. When you add all that up, that's a total of $4,600 profit just on their wins. But then when you look at the losses, let's say they have two losses at $1,300 a trade, one loss at $1,400 for that trade, one loss at $900, and one loss at $800. Their total in losses ends up being $5,700. And so the total net profit and loss on this one here is minus $1,100. So between scenario one and scenario two, trader A, who's risking a fixed amount, they come out net profit 200, trader B, who's varying the risk, comes out with a net $1,100 loss. That's over a 500% difference. This is drastic. Also, I'd like you to look at these two scenarios. Which one of these scenarios is easier to calculate performance? And which one of these scenarios is much more complicated in terms of trying to detail what the performance is going to be or expected payout is going to be. It should be pretty obvious that the trader that is adjusting their risk per trade put it, is putting themselves in a much more complicated situation in terms of risk management and being able to determine whether they're going to make money or not. It means you have to do a lot more calculations to actually determine whether your strategy has an edge, whether you have an edge or not. So you should be able to see very clearly why risking a fixed percent per trade is a super important thing to do when it comes to risk management and your performance and being able to determine whether you have an edge or not. If, if you wanna simplify the trading process and the calculations and the work that you have to do to determine, hey, is my current strategy making money or not? We always recommend risking a fixed percent per trade. With that being said, we have a free risk of ruin calculator at secondskiesforex.com. And I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you can go to it, but it's super easy and straightforward to use. So all you need to do is put in your payoff ratio. That's your average risk to reward on your trades, of all your trades. So you're gonna to need to know your total net profit, your total net loss on your losses, and then average those two out basically. So if you're averaging $1,000 on your wins and $500 on your losses, then your payoff ratio is two. So you can just enter that in right there, two. You put in your accuracy percent, the percent equity that you're risking per trade, and you can just hit the blue button and voila, you know your risk of ruin, 0%. 
That's what you're looking for. So the lower the number, the better, and zero is the most ideal. Zero means you have a 0% chance of ruining or blowing up your account. In terms of how far can you go above zero, I recommend nothing less than five, or nothing more than 5%. That means that you have a 95% chance that your trading strategy is going to make money. And it also gives you a little room for error. We're all human, we all make mistakes. We're gonna have times in our performance where we're not totally on top of our game. And this kind of gives you that benefit of the doubt. So you give yourself a little bit of room, but at the same time, you're making it a very low probability that you're going to blow up your account. I also recommend doing this calculation over a minimum of 5,200 trades. Anything less than that, you really don't have a decent enough baseline or statistic to rely upon to determine what's your average accuracy, what's your average payoff ratio, and what percent you're risking per trade. But for those of you that don't even know, Go ahead and compile the statistics. If you need to, you can use MyFX Book. You can uh, connect your account to MyFX Book. And if your broker or platform they're using connects with MyFX Book, they'll import all the data. It'll give you all that information, make it super easy for you. And then you can just punch the numbers in and find out what your risk of ruin is. I hope you enjoyed this video. I spent a lot of time kind of writing this, doing the research on it, and really putting it together. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and Hulk smash that like button. We really appreciate it. Also, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm when you subscribe and like our videos. And also make sure to leave a comment on what feedback you got on this particular video. We always like hearing back from our community and oftentimes I will respond to you personally. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you enjoy the free risk of ruin calculator. Good luck trading to you and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.